Hello everyone! Today I will show you how I prepared my book for Japan Expo Paris <laughs> 2023 with tiny tips and every detail I made. So this is how the booth looked like and that's it. Let's go to the video. First things first, I made the tiny cute magnets that you can see here. Then we have me hanging my goodies on the grids and in a very pretty way and without damaging them. This is why I recommend to buy grids like this, like full metal grids over grids like this, like the off plastic ones. But this is not the only reason. It's also better for hanging your panels, but we will get to that later. So to make these little wonders, <laughs> it is quite simple, but what do you need? You will need simple magnets and small rhinestones or decorations to stick on top. It can be anything like bees, flowers, small animals, the only limit is your imagination, so yeah, feel free to put anything you want on it. You will also need a hot glue gun to put everything together. As you can see here, I just put a tiny point of glue at the back of the charm, then I just put the magnets on it, and that's all you have to do. This is really simple, but please be careful, because I personally burnt myself a lot, so just be careful with it. So first I wanted to put some decorations on my stand, but I dropped the idea because I found them too small in the end, so I will buy a larger cutting machine because mine only goes up to A4. But I can still show you how I made these pretty ladies and these pretty babes. To make it, you will need either scissors or cutting machine, a printer and some photo paper. Now if you want to add some foil on it, you have two choices. First the hot drawing nib for the cutting machine that I actually have but it was too long for me making it with the hot transfer foil or you can do like me and just cut some holographic sticker paper with the regular blade of your cutting machine and just place it on your printed design if you want a tutorial on the cutting machine just ask in the comments it's a bit long it's true but it's so pretty now that I have made a lot of magnets, I also decided to make mini frames to put my social networks in. I simply painted small frames found on Vinted, decorated it and put magnets on the back. I recommend doing so to be able to save a few business cards, cards that of course I put in the bags when I sell. Now let's make price tags. It's almost the same principle as for the decorations, but the way you lay the foil is different. For the decorations, it was too difficult to transfer the foil, given their complex pattern. But as you will see here, I used another method to set the prices. All I did was cutting the prices from the other graphic sticker with my cutting machine, then removed all the excess paper from the sheet, as well as the inside of the numbers with pliers. After that, I took a transparent sticker to transfer the foil on the price tags by pressing the holographic sticker well against the photo paper. And that's it, you just take off the transparent sticker. Actually, you should use a transfer paper, but I used a transparent sticker with an holographic effect that I already had at home. And I wonder if it was working, and the answer is yes. Very good event, but take a real transfer paper to not risk damaging your photo paper. I was lucky didn't damage this one and it worked well. Also, for you to know, I didn't print the prices or their outline directly on the label to not risk sticking the foil close by the print and causing an offset, so that way it is way cleaner. And as you can see, the result is absolutely gorgeous. I'm really, really proud that I thought about this. Now let's talk about the small displays that will be used to um, display my goods. I simply bought some small spice racks, these are from IKEA, and as you might have guessed, I painted them purple. And I also tried varnishing them with car polish, and let me tell you, it was useless. Anyway, I painted everything, but before that I assembled the small shelves. I also recommend having a mini screwdriver with you, especially on site during the convention to reassemble all your support, it is so much faster. And so, ta-da! Purple displays. 
I hope you have space at home for this tip because if you're not sure if you have enough space or like me you're too excited to see how your stones is going to turn out, I advise you to set up your stone at home. As you can see here, I've put tape on my floor to clearly mark the size of the tables, which we knew in advance, except that this floor is very poor quality and since that day the tape remains hidden under the culprit. So here is the final result, two large sides of the booth, so I was really happy with the result and all the space I had. So I think you noticed that my stand was purple and you might wonder how I made it. It is, <laughs> again, really simple. I just made cardboard panels. To be honest, at first I wanted to put a pattern on it, but my supplier gave me a really crappy result. And unfortunately, I was running out of time, so I just used plain purple cardboard instead. Okay, nice. Cardboard are cool, but how did I manage to attach them to the grid? Well, hope you're focused okay please just be careful and watch the screen closely i first measured the space between these squares of the grids it's important to have two on the bottom size to hold the cardboard firmly and two at the top to attach it well now that i had the measurement i marked where the grids were as you can see here to know where to put the fasteners plus i previously cut my cardboards to the sides of the grids then to place the clips i simply place a piece of cardboard cut thinner than the space between the grids and then I stuck it with a piece of sticker rather than with glue because I was a bit afraid that it would stain or not stick enough with the glue. I know it can be hard to understand so please look carefully at the screen. Oh and for the decoration it's the same principle just smaller. Now that you have your panel it's super easy to place. You simply slide the fasteners into the slot between your grids as shown on the screen and ta-da! This is placed and it's just holding by itself. I was, to be honest, really happy when I came out with this idea. I, I just took a complete night to think about the principle of how to attach that. So I just don't want to get keep and I hope you can do the same. And by the way, the good thing about this method is that behind the stand it's clean enough to have storage space. Now let's place the goods with the magnets and the keychains on the fabric. For the print to not move on the support, I place a magnet in front, a magnet behind, and between I put the price tag, the print, and the support. If the price tag or the goods are on the display, I only place one magnet to the front since the shelves are metal. For higher goodies, like my posters here, it is the same principle since the grids are also metal. Now for the keychains, I hung a pretty little fabric ribbon on the grid and then I hung the keychains on the fabric. To attach the fabric, I used safety pins that I attached to the back of the grid so everything is hidden by the panels and voila! This is super simple to do. Of course, if you don't have panels and your grids are naked, you just need to hang your keychains directly on it. And that's all for the video. If you have questions or suggestions for future videos, you can tell me in the comments. Hope it was helpful. See you next time. Bye bye!